Hello and welcome to lesson four. What we're going to do in this lesson is import, edit and export. And then we're going to have a good look in game at what you've done. Uh, no worries, take your time with it, you'll get there. Anyway, let's crack on. So, you've opened up Blender. You've already got this as um, it's your default you know, settings that you did earlier in one of the previous lessons. So we're going to go to Import, Vamp Ed. Jeanette.x. This is where the location should be default, where Vamp Ed, yeah, extracts it to. So not a problem. Import. Now, you'll be presented with the model, which is just solid, non-textured. What we want to do is, is go here to the viewpoint shading, go to textured, and we can do the same over in the top viewport. There we go. Now, left-click on our navel, hit C to center. This is very useful. You can also hold shift and middle mouse to, you know, move about. It's just a little couple of handy things. But anyway, I usually just use C or rotate about. And yeah, that's middle mouse held in. Uh -huh. Anyway, hit one on your viewport. So we're just going to have a look at viewports a little bit so you get an idea. I don't really use these much, but you might be, you know, like as in number one. Make sure your num lock is on and you press number one to like on the front viewport, then if you hold control one, you got the back viewport, which is behind up. Then you've got seven, that's the top viewport, but if you hold control and seven, yeah, you're starting to get it, yeah? Then if you've got um, three, give you that side, control three, give you that side. This is all on your numpad. Um, minus, plus, I also think if you hit control enter on your numpad, brings you right in, full zoom. So if you're right out like that, boom. Right, anyway, back into the front viewport, one on your numpad. Right, we want to go to object, edit mode. Now that we're in there, what we're going to do is, is hold in control, then hold in left mouse button, and then we're going to select. Now you can select verts like that, and that makes things easy, but you can also hit L, because then it will select what's linked, as you see, that part of the mesh, as these others, are linked parts. I would generally then just, for the top of there, do that. Be very careful not to select the skirt. We want to hit the H key, it hides. Now you've got a couple of vertices over here. I'll just control left mouse button. Control left, select them, H, hide them. Now, now that they're hidden, they won't be moved, but they'll still be selected. So we'll get to that. Anyway, control, select, or you could, I guess, hit A to deselect fully. That's another thing. So we're going to go A to fully select. Um, or you could do what the loop around, what control left mouse. And then what we're going to do is press the S key to scale. We want to scale this all the way down while hitting, you know, while clicking and hitting C to center. We want this as small as we can. Um, we get used to the speed. Uh, I'm having to go a bit slower because obviously, you know, I want you to be able to keep up like. Because I'm assuming this is for people that's never ever like been in Blender. As you can see, I'm not messing about in much viewports. We will over on this one in a little bit, but that's when we get to her ponytail. Yes, gonna give her a ponytail. Very interesting. No, not really. Oh. So to centralize it, there we go. That's as small as we can get it. I don't 
don't know if you can control minus to get out. Nah. That was a little pain. It's been quite a while since I've actually used Blender until lately. So, there we go. We've placed it all the way down at the bottom. I'm going to place it over to the left. Because I've never done that. <coughs> so, what we want to do is, is hit A to deselect. Then we want to go Alt, H. Then we'll hit Control, Enter on the numpad. That brings us right in. So, we don't need to use the scroll wheel to go all the way in. A again to deselect. And then what we'll do is, is we'll select Object Mode. And there we are. No scut. Now, what we need to do now is, you've extracted with VPK tool before, so you would go to, oof, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I'll be using a different folder, I guess. Okay, we'll use this one. So we've got a vampire models, character, NPC, unique, Santa Monica, Jeanette. So we will copy that, then you would go to the extraction folder where you are vamped, vampire extracted, that's in my E drive, um, it's default, always has been, and then um, we'll paste that in now. I've already had one in there, but it'll just go straight in, you know how that works. Yeah. So... Well, what we would like to do is go back to Blender. And what we'll do is, is we'll save as the blend file. We'll just call it No Scott Pony. That was an old file um, from a previous video that I was doing, but I had to give it up because I had stuff to do. But anyway, no excuses. So there we are. That's it. Like saved. Um, you might want to save a bit more often. Um, got to be careful up here with this. Like, you know, with the new and that, I've seen, like, stuff disappear quick on me. Oh, anyway. Go to export. Bloodlines all. Um, these are actually new scripts. Um, I was only using the two old ones, which were fine. So, we'll select Jeanette X MDL. Hmm. No. Right, so we'll go to that. There we go. So the difference is, is the renaming, apparently. So what we would do then is, we go back to your vamp head extraction folder. Where are we? Because this is it. There we are. That's the file you would want, genetx.mdl. So we'll rename that to Jeanette. MDL. I'm just going to copy that across. Get that. Here we go. Paste. Overwrite. And um, that will be it in game. Now what we'll do is, I won't cut this video short. I'll just proceed on now with um, editing the hair saw. So, straighten up. Clicker towards the face. In we come. So I've got that. Object edit. I'll select as much part of the body we control. And left mouse. Yes. And using L. That just makes it easier to hide stuff. Whoop. Don't want to do that. Control Z. And what we'll do is pop out, selected, hit H, do that again, Oop. H, and then you can just hover over and just hit L and H, it won't really matter, um, so you've got a neck in that. So what we're going to do is with the pigtails, we're going to hide this one, and we're going to use this one as a pony. So what we want to do is... Hold control, left mouse. As you can see, I'll just hit L. Hit L here. Click. 
left mouse and then center we see should be fine that there you see like now that is like you know just so you know there you go that'll be it now what I'll do is this it don't really matter just to select verts you would use your right mouse if you're selecting um, them separately but we'll get to that I'll show you so scale it whoop I, I don't think it matters if it flips around but I'm not taking chances so I just As you notice, I've only used one view part. Like, blah, sorry. Talking in a bit. I've been up for so long. Viewports. Viewport. Just the one viewport so far. Really. As you can see, I've basically, yeah. Scaled it as far down as I can. Now, because this isn't part of static mesh, it will and should give some artifact and gain like a shadow. I think it will, but I'm going to try something here. So, I'm moving that out of the way. As you can see, Right, that's totally. I'm just going to hit A. That'll be deselected fully. Right, so we can move that. So we're just going to hit Control, Enter on Numpad. Whoa, yep. Scroll out a bit. As you can see, left click. Just left click. Now we're going to um, do this. Left click control. And just you can just hover because this is the general area we are in the last one. Yep. Set. But what we're going to do is is go into the top viewport now, over here on the right. And then we're going to hit R for rotate. So we want to straighten that up as much as we can. Centralize it. We can then click left mouse button, central, and just have a look at how it is. Now, I think that looks rather okay. Now, this here. Is a little bit thingy so what I'm going to do this is I was rotating by holding the middle mouse you see that there see it you can see yeah I'm going to select that vert with right mouse button and just do that that's in the head let's object mode it Obviously, you can move the verts, do whatever you want. That's her now. So, what we'll do is that um, you could go back into edit mode and, you know, Alt H and then hit A to D select Alt and back to object mode. There we go. Now she's got a ponytail. Now what we'll do is, is we'll see how it looks in game. So we'll um, export that. Pod lines out. Back into your vampad folder. Well, you'll get used to this. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Where are we? See, so yeah, it's renamed differently. <laughs> Hmm. 
Interesting. Let's seem to. Uh, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Right. Let me want to go back to my Bloodlines installation. Do, do, do. Now we have it. So that's Jeanette X. Now what I would do is here, we know this here is just no skirt, so dot no skirt. So we know what model it is. Then if I was got next, you know, obviously no skirt pony. Now let's go back. Ooh. No reason for I'm not using the UP patch, it was just an install, my first one that I'd actually put back on my system. Uh, yeah, what? I'm sure Jeanette's going to annoy me, but when you spot to her a million times. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Nah. You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I usually I'm not. not. You. Am I... No, just leave me alone. You just like I said. Well, since you don't care. I don't. There you go. And that's that. Let's go for a little dance. I think we deserved it. Whoa. Anywho. I think that sums it up. Let's come out and um, well, that's that. Import, export, done. Nothing to it. So better get back to VV. She looks a bit pissed off. Catch you in a bit, guys. In a bit, skis. I'll think of something else to show you. Bye.